Last year I wrote a column about how popular Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport was getting. I was afraid that what makes it so popular, it's small, easy to get in and out of and on and off of a plane, was going to start to undo all those things. Well, now I'm even more afraid. When I last flew out of there, Gateway had two gates and one airline. Now it has six gates and they're building two more. And Allegiant is now joined by Spirit Airlines. The Tribune's Garen Groff reports this week that the number of passengers flying out of Gateway is up 51% than did a year ago. 51! Now I know what some of you are thinking. What's the problem, Mark? This is a sign of a recovering economy, more tourism, maybe more people moving here and buying houses here. You against that, Scarp, huh? Of course not. This also means bigger parking lots. Mathematically, that means more parking spaces farther away from the terminal. They already have shuttle buses, and the next thing you're going to see are more of them. Now I'm asking, is that what you want? And traffic. Yep, think of the last time you tried to drop someone off or pick someone up at Sky Harbor without a dented fender, or that you managed to get in and out of there without running over somebody trying to cross the road towing two or three suitcases behind them and not looking. I don't know about you, but I love an airport where you can never go to the wrong gate because there are only two. How smart do you have to be to figure that out? Don't answer that. All right, I realize there's nothing I can do to stop Gateway success. So at least Gateway folks, can you grant a few small requests? Can the rate to park your car not requiring get a, getting a credit report first? Can the snack food prices be set so they can't be mistaken for a Scottsdale five-star restaurants? And for Pete's sake, can you please not put in a train? I'm Mark Scarp, and that's On The Mark. Want more? Read my column this Sunday and every Sunday in the East Valley Tribune.